Hello everyone, I am Prachivani. Welcome you all in this session. Today we are going to discuss about dialogue writing. This is very important form of English where the student require lots of practice. The main thing regarding dialogue writing is here it should sound natural. So let us we will see how we can write down natural dialogues and for that purpose I am going to discuss today the tips for writing dialogues. Before that, I would like to discuss with you what is the course outcome. After learning this topic, you will be able to compose dialogues for different situations. You have to keep in mind different tips and after that you will be able to compose the dialogues. Even then, the student will know method of dialogue writing. What is the step or what are the different steps or categories where we have to use in case of dialogue writing you will be able to know. Dialogue writing is not only the part of written communication but many of the times we have to communicate with the different people maybe such as a conversation sometimes we have to take a part in the debate so consider dialogue writing is a kind of practice for that. So when you know how dialogues are exchanged then you can use it in your spoken also English. So through this you will be able to take a part in the debate with the correct pronunciation intonation and you can use your gestures accordingly. Now before going to discuss the tips of dialogue writing I would like to give you marking scheme marking structure. Dialogue writing this question comes for four marks and for that four marks the student must be able to write down total 8 to 10 dialogues. At least there should be 8 to 10 exchanges of dialogues. While giving the marks, the involvement in dialogue is here observed. Whether the writer is completely involved in the given situation or not, that is here observed through the sentences. Also, whether the students are following grammatical rules or not, that is also here observed. Different sentences we may use while developing the dialogues. So whether you are framing that sentences appropriately or not, that is also observed. Means if we are using your interrogative sentences, if we are using your exclamatory sentences, assertive type of sentences, whether you are following all grammatical rules, subject verb agreements, all these things are here again observed. Also, whether you are able to use punctuation marks appropriately, that is also here important one. As this is the paper of language and you are going to present your dialogue, so you have to use your inverted commas, different kinds of punctuation marks very profoundly wherever it is necessary. Because as far as written communication it is concerned, the punctuation marks, it reflects the intention, moods, emotions of the writers. Hence, we have to use it. Also, the dialogues expanded appropriately or not, that is also observed. And whether you are using here interjections so that some natural expressions can be brought to these dialogues for that purpose, the marks are been marks have been given. Now, my reflection spot is here. What is dialogue writing? And state steps to develop very good dialogues. Give a thought over it. We will stop here for some time and then we will go ahead. Okay. Now, what is dialogue? In simpler words, simpler term, dialogue is a kind of conversation. Or it is a set of words related to the given topic. Also, this is a conversation between two or more people. When two or more people comes together, they are having exchange of dialogues. They are having conversation regarding any particular topic. Then that is called your dialogue. So dialogue represents actual speech, actual speech of the speaker. And in this dialogue exchanges, the language becomes here very much colloquial or conversational language. Very soon when the speaker is asking something, Immediately after that, the listener is supposed to give the natural responses. So that is called your dialogue. Now, while writing the dialogues, you have to follow certain important tips and it is very essential. First of all, you have to refer to the situation. So you have to read the situation very carefully. Then on the basis of that situation, you have to use your imagination 
and accordingly you have to put forth their points and you have to elaborate that points then whenever you are going to elaborate all that related sub points then you have to use very simple and direct language so avoid twistful language or very difficult words if you are having in your vocabulary you have to avoid it then you should develop your dialogues which should sound natural and very concise one means dialogue should be very concise avoid lengthy sentences or sentence comprising two or more lines so it will become confusing to the reader also you can use your contractions such as don't won't or can't instead of writing do not will not cannot so you can use your contractions you can also use your interjections so that you can give that kind of impression that how natural you are having exchange of dialogues so interjections brings naturality to your dialogues so you can use your a uh, alas bravo hurray so as much as possible if it is informal type of communication or formal you can go for making use of interjections and mind it that you have to use your only 8 to 10 exchanges of dialogues also use as much as possible that is punctuation marks and when we are writing any dialogue you have to use your colon after the name of speakers after that use your inverted comma to write the dialogues if any dialogue belong to a person then you have to use your inverted comma many of the times we are not following and directly after putting colon we are using your sentences so when you are writing sentence put their inverted commas either single or inver double inverted use names of characters instead of letters a b c many of the times students can also use different reference material so they can go through instead of names a or b accordingly the names are not given so just initials have been used here but my suggestion is here to bring naturality to your dialogue writing it is essential to use your character's name if it is conversation between teacher and student use your teacher use student or you can write down the name of the teacher as well as name of the student but before that you have to provide the background i will go further then use brackets to insert the emotions so if you are writing the name of any person character and immediately after that you can put it put the emotions in the round bracket so that reader will realize what are the emotions possessed by this speaker after that you have to provide background before starting dialogues just i come to this point many of the times very directly we start dialogue writing but my suggestion is here to make your dialogue presentable and well understanding then you have to provide the background it can be written into the square bracket before starting any exchange of dialogues between any two people so here in the background you have to provide who is speaking with whom and on which topic they are talking so give little bit idea so consider providing this background information as the beginning of your dialogue writing avoid domination by characters in your dialogue writing you have to avoid that only one person is going to speak and another person is nodding and saying yes or no like that so avoid domination created by any character every person should have the same opportunity to say something over that statements and very special very important is your avoid mobile typing language many of the times we are the user of mobile and we are sending sms to the different people and the same language is appeared or it is appeared in the paper so you are not supposed to use your mobile language the example is given there see you soon i am not supposed to use your see later you later and write down see you soon or i am not supposed to write down come to party so t o you have to write down instead of to and this is for you this is very common so this write down complete spelling is i s for f o r and u y o u so i am very much here strict about do not use your mobile language mind this then i would like to discuss with you what are the steps for writing dialogues so when we are writing the dialogues especially we have to go for greeting then secondly then you can have development of the dialogues and at the end you have to close your dialogues so that kind of thing should appear in your dialogue writing if the 
situation is your formal then you can begin your dialogues with good morning good afternoon and if it is informal one you can just go for hi hello how are you like that when you are going to develop your dialogues it should sound spontaneous real conversation this should not happen that artificially you are drafting dialogues you are writing the dialogues so avoid that kind of artificiality and use as much as punctuation marks as i already told in the tips so that your real real intention or emotions are easily displayed while you are going to close dialogues in case of formal you can say good day have a nice day thank you very much and in case of informal you can go for using take care see you soon bye so every dialogue should have beginning should have proper ending so avoid abrupt beginning of dialogue writing now i am going to present you here sample dialogue so you will have clear cut idea how dialogue should be here formed this is the situation or conversation between two students enquiring about each one so i am going to provide here first of all background that is given to a square bracket you can easily see here for example mary took the admission in the college for first year she is talking to anna now after that yes how the dialogues are going to develop so after reading this background you can prepare your mind that what is going on next so anna says your hello mary very surprisingly says your hello so surprisingly she is very new into this college so you can use your emotions and emotions can be written into the bracket you can use your italic also write down it is in the slanting way so that you can immediately realize what emotions are possessed by the speaker then anna asking curiously may i know your name mary sure i am anna de souza from goa anna keep asking so if you are not using your italic then you can keep it as it is so anna is asking keep asking are you student of this institute mary yes i took admission to the first year of chemical engineering how about you anna i am anna franklin i am second year student of the same department i am from delhi mary oh nice to meet you dear anna nice to meet you too mary bye and again i am going to close this dialogues by giving your exit statement into the square bracket that is both leaves for their classes so if you are going to follow this method these steps while writing the dialogues you will get complete marks so here is one of the formal dialogue exercise where you can insert here some of the sentences some of the words and for that purpose the next dialogue will give you hint of it so the situation is the student goes to office for scholarship form so student good afternoon sir i am so here you have to write down sentence the name of the person student's name and student is asking a question and to that question office clerk is supposed to give the answer then student is again asking question what is the last date of filling this form again office clerk is giving answer student do i have to attach mark sheets with this form yes office clerk is going to give the answer and student all right ma'am thank you for the information and good day ma'am and office clerk will say welcome good day now let us how dialogues are here exchanged let us we will fill in the blanks so student is asking good afternoon sir i am keda sunil from fiif may i have a scholarship form office clerk here it is take this student what is the last date of filling this form office clerk the last date is 15th september student do i have to attach mark sheets with this scholarship form office clerk yes you have to attach all semester's mark sheets student all right ma'am thank you for the information good day to you office clerk welcome good day so in this way you have to form your dialogues so i hope this video this session might have given you a very good information about dialogue writing follow this and you will get very good marks so thank you once again thank you very much